Let's assume that the fixed base of the triangle described in the problem statement BAB which lies on the x-axis and has a length 2A. Let's assume that the origin is the midpoint of AB through which the y-axis passes perpendicular to the x-axis. Therefore, the distance OA and OB are equal to A. Let's assume that the coordinates of the point P, which is the third vertex of the triangle, BHK, the joint point A to P and point B to P to complete triangle PAB. Let's assume that lines PA and PB make angles theta and phi respectively with the positive direction of the x-axis. Therefore, angle PBA is equal to pi minus phi. Now we are given that point P is a moving point such that angle PBA is equal to 2 times angle PAB. In other words, pi minus phi is equal to 2 theta. Taking the tangent of both sides, we get tan of pi minus phi is equal to tan of 2 theta, which implies that minus tan phi is equal to 2 tan theta divided by 1 minus tan square theta. Now going back to the figure, let's drop a perpendicular from the point P onto the x-axis and let the foot of the perpendicular be the point N. The vertical distance of the point P from the x-axis is equal to K and the horizontal distance of the point P from the y-axis is equal to H. Therefore, the distance BN is equal to H minus A. Now note that from triangle P and B, tan phi is equal to K divided by H minus A. And from triangle P and A, tan theta is equal to K divided by H plus A. Substituting these values of tan theta and tan phi, in the result obtained earlier, we get minus k divided by h minus a is equal to 2k divided by h plus a divided by 1 minus k square upon h plus a whole square. k cancels across the left hand side and the right hand side in the numerator and we get minus 1 upon h minus a is equal to 2 upon h plus a multiplied by h plus a whole square divided by h plus a whole square minus k square. Cross multiplying this becomes 2 times h plus a times h minus a is equal to minus of h plus a whole square minus k square. This implies that 2h square minus 2a square is equal to k square minus in brackets h square plus 2ah plus a square. which implies that 3h square minus k square plus 2ah minus a square is equal to 0. Now the locus of the vertex P with coordinates hk is obtained by replacing h with x and k with y in the above equation 
and therefore the locus of P is 3x square minus y square plus 2ax minus a square is equal to 0, which is the required answer.